we'll create an empty project, right? When you create an empty project, it starts you with nothing. But we need this software instrument for what we're doing later, okay? Um, ask me about what the other ones are about some other time. But for now, pick green on the left, say create. Anyway, you won't need the keyboard today. You will need the loop browser, which looks like a little roller coaster thing. You can find that. Mine's in the top right, and yours might be in the top left. I never know which version of GarageBand we're going to be working with. We're not going to need this bottom window for a while. You're free to explore it. I would start simple. If it says indexing Apple Loops library, my apologies, I tried to index you guys before you got here, but uh, GarageBand's got a mind of its own sometimes. Anyway, whenever that finishes, if you have a hydrogen export, wherever you save that, just kind of drop it under this track, not into this track, okay? We'll, we'll see why later, but for now, just the rest of me, uh, drop that underneath. If you didn't change it, you probably made a 120 beat per minute segment in hydrogen. If you did not, here's where you change that in GarageBand up here, okay? So make sure this beats per minute matches that beats per minute before you drop it in. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it's probably 120, so you're good. All right, so whatever I exported yesterday should be working. <laughs> it's fine, 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 okay. Yeah. Um, so your job today is to look around through the loops and see what you can find. So I might think that's going to go with it. I don't know, it's four beats long, but it may not. Let's see if it lines up. Those blue ones may not line up. Notice how I dropped it under here, right? Don't ever drop them on top. Okay, very important. You want to make a new track when you pull a loop over. Let's listen. Oh, it actually does kind of fit in. <laughs> I actually gonna like it. So I'm gonna have that come in right there. All right. I didn't look very long. I expect you guys to look around until you find something cool. Okay. I'll put one there. Copy paste. I'll put one. Okay. Well, that does not go with what I had at all. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be picky and just kind of look through the list. However, the list is ridiculously long, as you know. So if you search by genre, I just want to find house beats. You know. Then you can look there. Or, um, okay, so here are all the house beats. You get the idea. Or maybe I don't want house beats. Maybe I want stuff with an organ in it, right? Okay, um, and maybe I don't even know what I want to search by, so I'll just go to descriptors and see. I want something kind of, I don't know, intense. Let's look for that. All right, so look around and find things that go with your stuff. Oh, that's way too tasty. I got to pull that out. Okay, again, I'm not going to drop it in the guitar configuration. I'm not going to drop it in my hydrogen export. I'm going to drop it underneath. So after that, song's finished. That's it. Uh, when you save it, uh, <clears throat> give it a good name. There's no need to export it until day two. Thanks for watching.